All right, we are gonna talk kokanee rigs. So, I prefer to tie all my own kokanee rigs, and the majority of my kokanee rigs involve squid, or most commonly known as hoochies. So, these are P-Line hoochies. I have, I buy just tons of different colors. You can buy bulk packs um, that just have varieties. And these are a little longer than I prefer, so I trim them. It's very easy. These are affordable, lots of varieties and colors. And today I think we'll tie one of my favorites, <clears throat> the pink purple with the ultraviolet violet or fluorescent. You can check these by putting them under a black light and really see how they kind of light up and alter those wavelengths. Now, I'm gonna show how I tie this in a variety of ways. So plain um, and with a spin glow. And you could even add, actually I don't have any wiggle bills with me, but you could add a wiggle bill as well. So there's that hoochie. I like to trim them down to, I believe this is a two and a half inch squid. I trim them, trim them down to an inch and a half to two inches. So I'm gonna trim it about to there. You can do that with a variety of things today. And most of the time I just use a good old razor knife. So I'm just gonna pick where I want to trim it. You can just bend it over. And I kind of like this because it actually, it doesn't do it quite as precise as scissors. And so it gives just a tiny bit of variation. You can see some different lengths. And there I've got a short little squid. The other thing to note, they come with a solid nose so you can't feed anything through there. So you just trim the tip of that nose off so you can push line through. Now, what I have is I've pre-tied a double snell, which I have a video if you don't know how to tie snell knots or specifically a double snell. Size four gamma katsus and you can use twos, fours, whatever these, I'm just doing with fours today. I tie a variety. <clears throat> and to place that hoochie where I like, I always add at least one, if not two beads before the hoochie. So you can see if you add, you know, one bead, it's gonna be closer back to that second hook, more beads, it's gonna push it further forward. So today I buy uh, large things of variety packs on beads. We're gonna go ahead, and this one is gonna be covered up so it's not crucial what color we put in there. And I think we'll do two beads today, see where that puts us. And I just kinda, you know, do different methods depending on what I want, but my standard go-to is two beads. So we'll do that with both plain hoochies and spinglo hoochies. So, after you've threaded those beads on, like so, you can then put the hoochie on. The thing that I like to do, because it makes it easier, is I put a little bit of spit on those beads, just, and it makes the hoochie slide on uh, more easily. So then you're just gonna take your line. This is 10 pound Maxima Ultra Green. You do want kind of fairly rigid line, like a 10 pound mono or fluorocarbon on these rigs, because it actually helps your dodger impart more action when you have stiffer line. If I was using four pound line, really thin stuff, that dodger is gonna be whipping around, but none of that energy is actually transferred back through the line to the hoochie, which is not ideal. So, like I said, I just thread it down onto those beads and onto the hook. I make sure that that bead is pushed to the front of the nose like so, and that will work greatly. So we're just beyond that first hook, touching the second hook. I'm gonna put a single piece of corn on both of those, or a maggot, a gulp corn, whatever you like to use, and then you're gonna run it. Now, if I was gonna do a plain hoochie, I could leave it like this. I could add a glow bead in front or something if I wanted, but I would do a very short leader length. So I use mostly four to five inch dodgers as my length of dodger, and for my hoochie, kind of a standard out there if you haven't heard is two dodger lengths of leader for a plain hoochie, and three for something that is a spinner or a wiggle hoochie, three to four um, dodger lengths. So we're gonna say I use um, four, well, four to five, you're gonna go eight to 10 inches. So, you know, we're basically, I mean, it's hard to tell distance on the video, but 
but uh, that's eight to 10 inches. I would tie a swivel or a loop knot here and it's ready to go. The reason you do a shorter lure on a plain hoochie is it's not doing anything on its own if it's just cruising back there. The longer the leader, the less motion that's impaired. With this short leader, when that dodger whips, that hoochie is gonna pop back and forth with the dodger. And the shorter the leader, the more action the hoochie has. Of course, the longer the leader, the less. So there we go. That's a plain hoochie. Now, we wanna add a little more something to it. So you can add blades, a wiggle bill, you name it. But what I'm going to do is a spin glow. So I'm going to do a bead and we'll go, actually let's go with just a simple glow bead. And you can do any variety of colors, combinations, which that's kind of the fun thing about these lures is you just do whatever your feeling is going to work. I buy lots of spin glows and always have a variety and I just tie up lots of them, give them to friends, tie some for myself. And we're going to tie up this little guy. <clears throat> so this is one that I tied up. I used it for the first time that I had given it to a friend. We used it for the first time a couple weeks ago and we did really well. <clears throat> so it's kind of a neat one. Polka dots with green on the back. It's UV green on the front, silver blades. And then this other side is kind of a pink with those green dots. I honestly don't remember the hoochie I tied behind it for him, but I'm gonna pair mine with this uh, pink purple. Oh, this is a great example because it's sometimes the paint clogs that hole. So I'm glad that happened actually, because now I can show you a simple way to fix it. You can take any hook. I usually grab one of my larger ones. This is for my herring rigs. I have videos on how I make those for big lake trout and such. Just take the hook and just kind of punch it in that hole and <clears throat> clear the paint and then you can thread your line through like so and i've got a nice little rig so little spin glow hoochie ready to go you could add more beads in front um, if you wanted but you don't need it that's going to cruise through the water nice little spin action those spin glows spin at incredibly low speeds they add a little bit of a thump this is my, this combination, not necessarily this color, but combination of a spin glow with a hoochie is my number one kokanee rig. I would say my second is a plain hoochie and third, probably a wheel hoochie. So really fun to tie these. Now that I've put this spin glow on there, I'm gonna extend that leader out. Um, you can go you know, anywhere to 12 to 24 if you really wanted to stretch it out there, but I usually go around 16 inches on the leader for this. Once again, tie a swivel or a loop knot and you're good to go. And then I store mine on a pool noodle. Um, I have a video on that, how I kind of cut it, put a cut in it. It helps them stay in nice and tight, not get tangled. And I have loads and loads of these and they catch lots of kokanee and trout. So hope that helps.